Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. My name is Kimmy. This is Soho California Vintage. And it's actually been a few months, I think, since I've done a video like this. So, this bag I got at the community thrift store, $14.99. They're usually $19.99, but if they don't fill up, I guess, the whole bag, they'll um, make the price, you know, a little bit more reasonable. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. And I'm happy to be filming. It's been actually, yeah, a, a couple of months. Usually I've been doing the live auctions. And so um, if you're new, please um, feel free to subscribe right here. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And let me dive right in to show you guys what I got from the thrift store. This bag. Hopefully we can find some gems, maybe some silver. We call, I could always sell that for, you know, for weight. I always like to find just a special piece here too. I could already see something right here. I don't know if it's broken, but this looks like it's a stone. Possibly jade. Oh wow, look at this. So the community, when I get their bags, I really like, they just have some really cool um, relics, some unusual pieces. I've actually gotten some way better pieces in these bags than the Goodwill blue boxes. And now that the Goodwill blue boxes prices have um, gone up, I have strayed away. I'm not saying I won't buy any in the future, but for right now, I'm just going to be sticking to um, mystery uh, bags, glass jars that I could get at the local thrift stores. So let's see what I got here. Um, this is either glass or, wow, possibly orange jade. So what I need to do is let me set up my Presidium. I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I didn't calibrate the Presidium. It should be okay. You know, it's going to basically tell me what's glass, what's stone. And so let's... Let me move this over a little bit. I just want to see if this is jade. See how it's so... Cl yeah, it's stone. Most likely it's carnelian. Let's test this one out. Yeah, it's stone. I'm just trying to see if I can. Okay, so I wanted to get a little bit closer so you guys could see this part right here. When I hit, I have like five camera lenses on. It's kind of hard. You know what? Let me get it out of the, I'm going to, there we go. There we go. See? Yeah, most likely it is um, carnelian. I'm going to move this out of the way. Back it off. I have a new camera. I have a new phone. And so it, it does all these, all these things. And I'm just starting to get used to it. Anyways. So the orange is stone. The black beads are glass. I don't know what this says. Uh, maybe somebody um, that's watching this can tell me what is what does that mean it's a really pretty design it's frosted it's a basically a decoration or used um, has a tassel if my cat sees this he's gonna go crazy they're asleep right now bronze and silver let's move on though I kind of put a lot of time into that so this is a brooch, um, any maker's mark. There's a missing a stone. This is going to go with craft. I'm trying to see if this is the design. Yeah, this is the design of it. I thought maybe there was a missing piece, but that's going to go for craft. Let's see what else we have. Um... Okay, I'm going to have a lot of little single pieces. Hope everybody's doing today. Um, today is Thursday. 
I am not sure when I will be able to upload this video, but um, most likely today. Today is Thursday. Oh, it's St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Wherever, wherever you are in the world. Okay. This is a hot mess. Let's see here. Okay, so this is a serious tingle. Okay, so here I had a stretchy faux pink pearl um, acrylic ivory roses. What tag is this though? Who is this? Superstar Accessories. So, yeah, that's going to probably go with craft. I have a single um, silver tone earring. I have a black faceted. Hmm, I wonder if this is, let me see here. Yeah, this is non-sterling. Put that to the side. Here is a hoop earring with little faux rhinestones on there. I should say faux crystals. That's what I meant to say. I don't think this is sterling. No, it is not. A bangle. Always good to check the bangles. Um, because sometimes they are sterling. This one looks like it has little um, eyes on there. Look at that. What does it say? Like a frog. Oh, it's a froggy. Hmm, interesting. This is this is aluminum. It's very light. None of these are sticking, but I can tell you that these are aluminum. These I don't know. Huh. Nah, just for giggles I can test uh this looks like it's aluminum though. I could test these for silver. I'm not seeing any maker's mark. I feel like a fish out of the water filming. It's it's surreal filming this video. It's been a it's been a while. It's been a while. So let's see here. I have a silver chain. It looks like it was it looks like it's busted. Yeah, and it's a non-sterling. Now just because if you're new, just because I'm, if it sticks, um, that's just a preliminary test to see if it's sterling. Um, I also use chemicals to finalize. Here's another, here's another froggy bangle. Hmm, interesting. Okay, some more copper tone bangles. Now the cross does not appear to be um, silver, but I want to see if the chain is. The chain might be. I have seen a lot of mixed non-metals with precious metals all the time. Here's acrylic pink dangle earring. Let's see. Hmm. I'm seeing a copper undertone. I don't think this is silver. I mean, I could test it regardless, but here's a dichroic glass earring and another um, green cabochon single earring. Okay, so this busted, and this looks like it has a crown charm. Yeah, this is just, this is going to go to craft. We have some faux pearls. Um, I think 
this is how it works. It looks like everything is, um, yeah, that it, it still works. It still works. It's a tri uh, faux pearl strand. It's actually not too, and not in such bad condition. Not at all. That's cute. Okay, so we have more bangles. This one has some wear on it. It has a copper undertone. Here we have a single, I mean a silver tone bangle to clamp. I don't see no maker's mark. Hmm. Put that to the side. These are in very good condition, these silver bangles. We have a bent earring. Kind of looks like a snail man. Oh, so this was a brooch and it, it popped. It, it's broken. I am going to put that for craft. Um, is this the same? I thought I, I came across another one just like this. So here we have a dangle. This is plastic, the acrylic earring. Oh, that looks interesting. So we have some more uh, brass bangles. These are all collectively together, so they're, you're not gonna lose them. Those are cute. Okay, so. Let me see here, does this still work? I think something snapped. Yeah, something snapped, the loop is gone. I don't see no maker's mark. Hmm. This is, um, no, this is not sterling, but it's just a little heart. Pendant, really awesome for crafters. Okay. So far, this is just turning out to be um, more of like a craft lot. Sometimes these necklaces are here. These silver pieces will be real silver, but not in this case. How's everybody doing? It's, uh, I feel like it's been forever. Here we have a gold tone chain. Um, trying to see if there's any marks. I'm not promising, but tomorrow during um, the morning, uh, afternoon, I'm gonna try to do a video, another video of um, maybe put some cell items alive. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try for that. We'll see how my day goes. And look at the hourglass in there. That's cute. Very, very cute. This reminds me of um, the one from, um, is it Harry Potter? You have to do my use and value unto you are gauged by okay there's just a bunch of stuff but that's that's cute this one is marked what does it say it doesn't feel like silver it says alpaca let me see Something Mexico. Is that alpaca? Yeah, this is um, this is not sterling, but we have beautiful abalone inlay, possibly bone right there. Single earring, very very cute. We have some single earrings. And let's see here. A 
another frog bangle. Okay, so this is knotted up pretty good. Okay, so let's take this out. This might be silver, this little thin chain. Sometimes in these knots, you're gonna find some really good little hidden treasures. Here's a bangle. Earring, the other one I pulled out already. It's, it's, um, it's bent though. So here I have a pearl, um, it looks like a, le a lens holder for glasses. Uh, somebody recently was asking me about this, but they wanted a chain, not a pearl. But I'll put that to the side. And we'll see, maybe they will still want that. So here we have um, kind of like a mesh chain pendant. And let's see here. This tangle. Let me see what I could get out. I will come right back. Okay, so I cut, I had to cut this earring off, which the ball is really cute. It could, and it has little stones. Could be used for, you know, something else or recondition for a pendant or an earring I got this out and it just it's tangled okay um let me move these over single earring now I pulled this out and it was already kind of like busted but I was thinking that this was going to be silver I haven't tested it, but my money is that, that it is. And let's see if I could get a close-up for you guys. Let me see here. There, it says Thailand. It's upside down, but it's Thailand 925. Excuse my nails. I need to go get a manicure. But yeah, this is sterling. So we have a piece of sterling, which is good. That's always good for scrap, to sell for scrap, depending on its condition. So let's see here. We have, um, this reminds me a little bit of Lucky Brand. I just have some feathers, a piece of, I'm pretty sure this is faux bone. But I do like this little glass vial very very cute put that to the side and let's see what else do we have oh this is heavy these green pearls so this just needs to be clipped back on it busted a little bit these are in really really good condition it just needs to be reattached Very, very nice. So this appears to be either rose quartz or just pink glass, like sea glass. And then this is glass. Let's see, let's put the presidium on. Yeah, it's glass. It looked like that sea glass to me, but it's on a, um, this was a handmade piece and to be, it was put on an illusion necklace. So it looks like it's floating. Okay, let's see what else. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so I don't wanna mix that up. This says fearless. And what brand is this? I have to move it out of the camera. BCBG. Sorry, I have to move it out of the camera um, frame because sometimes I can't see through the through the camera in front of me. Here's a brooch. It looks like pewter. Oh, this is a pretty wreath. 
Christmas time. Before you know it, it will be Christmas again. We're already in March. This year feels like it's flying by. It really does. We have gold and silver accents. This is a clamp bracelet. Or wait, maybe not. No. Mm. How do you open this one? This one has like a little... Oh, there it is. So it's a, excuse me. Mm, like that and you pop it open. There's no maker's mark. It's in decent condition. Not too bad. Simple clamp. Here's another one of those silver tone um, bracelets. This one has some wear on it though. Here we have a gold leaf. Hmm. It's an earring. It won't, it's sticking where the post is at. Okay, what happened to this? It looked like it was possibly a bracelet and it, it broke the chain. This is a cool, fun, a twisted artisan bangle. Looks primitive. A little bit of brutalist design. Here I have a silver tone um, cuff. Uh, I don't think this is real silver though. Oh, no it is not. Did you hear that slap? Yowza. This looks like it might be silver, the, the way it's tarnished. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see any marks. Hmm. Okay, so what's sticking is the post mechanism. Mm, I don't know, I'm gonna have to test that. So we're already towards the end of this bag. Let's see what else we could pull out. We have um, some single earrings. I've seen those. Those are very, very common. Some vintage rhinestone. Um, post earrings. Very lovely. Faux pearl. Some purple dangles. Some clip-ons, uh, let's see here. Those are some big faux pearl clip-ons. This is cute, this was handmade, has some bells, some seed bead, enlarged seed bead work. Actually, if somebody has a small enough ankle, that would be so fun to wear, like in the spring, summer, and you walk around, you can hear the little bells. I like that. There's an earring. This earring says DS on the back. This is an unusual what is this, an earring? No, it looks like a charm. Kind of like a fish. Uh, a little bit. Black glass, maybe onyx. Single earring. This looks like a toe ring. A lot of these little mini toe rings can be silver, but I don't know. I'll see what happens. When I test it, there's a little matching bow earring. This 
so this is all tangled and I'm seeing a bunch of little charms. Let's see here. Maybe I could get it out. If anybody doesn't like the time wasted on untangling, just move a little bit forward. I know sometimes there's people who love it and there's people who don't like it. So, okay, so I got this out. Yay. And it's a Tinkerbell toggle um, class bracelet. Very, very cute. Disney. What is this? This is like a tangled up um, necklace with multi strands. Kind of took it off a little bit, but let's move that to the side. So here we have the M blue M&M. &M. This one says Vegas. Vegas charm. Green M&M. Welcome to Las Vegas. This was probably bought at the M&M store in Vegas. They have a huge M&M store. And Sharon. This was for Sharon. Sharon doesn't want it no more though. <laughs> uh, or somehow it was donated. This is just a worn down chain. So this is what we have left of this bag. I know my hands are probably filthy. It feels very um, dirty, some of these pieces. Here's some single earrings. A lot of those popular plastic flowers. Uh, okay, let's see here. Just take this off. We have the matching earrings. Little squiggles, kind of look like little snakes. I have seen this before. I actually sold a recent um, necklace with the same style. Maybe this was the matching earrings. Yeah, it definitely is the matching earrings. I don't know if I have the other pair of them. And the other one for its mate. More of these. So these bracelets were popular, whoever had them. Let me put this earring to the side. Oh, this one's cute. It reminds me of like the Indian style um, earrings, but this is a, uh, kind of looks like a heart. Very, very cute. Another single earring. Let's see, like, oh, here's the matching pink earring. but it's missing a piece. So that's not gonna help us. Here's the other earring to the one I found earlier from Mexico. Something feels heavy over here. So here we have a gold tone hoop earring trying to see if there's any maker's marks. This one's actually really nice as far as like the cuts. I don't think it's gold, nope. And this has some weight to it. So this is all silver and then we have one strand, one rope strand of gold. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, I think this is broken. E um, yeah, this is broken. It has like a weird, oh, bummer. It's a nice, um, nice texture to it. Very, very smooth. All right, let's see what we got here. We have a crystal star. What is this, a pendant or an earring? Looks like there's a charm off something. 
another earring, single earring, little um, solid plastic solitaires. Sometimes these little, the littlest pieces like this will be like real gold or real silver. I'm not seeing any marks. Wait, there is something on there. Yeah, it could be sterling underneath. Gold for me over sterling. Let's see if I could zoom in. Maybe it was just scratches. No, there is something that says, but it's on the inside, so the camera's like, there we go. Yeah, it says 925, uh, 925 something. So basically, it's gold for me over sterling. Put that to the side. We have a gold tone earring right here. Okay, so let's move this to the side. We have a gold, um, this is actually a clip earring. Okay, so what else do we have to finish off? Here's the other earring that I had earlier. Look at this pendant. It's glass. There's a portrait behind it. Trying to see any maker's marks, markings. Very charming, very cute. There's a stretch. We have little pyramid beads. Now this has um, engravings. Hmm. This says 925. On the outside I was thinking um, this probably is silver. Look at that right there. It says 925. But what, it, what is that? What does that say? Sterling. This is an old piece, so I'm getting some, some, sorry, I keep hitting the camera, I apologize, it's like right in front of me, but we have some, kind of like a little bit of hieroglyphics, a little bit, this was probably just handmade though, this is a, it's a bent, I'm going to test that out for silver, that's a nice silver piece though, wow, what is this? Look at, see, I, I love this. I love this. So, what brand is this? Sweet Romance. Look at that. Sweet Romance. Okay. Look at how charming this is. We have a teapot. We have cups. And I like the brand Sweet Romance. We have a kennel. And what is the last one? Another teapot. Uh, let me see, how does it close? So, I'm already happy with the bag because I got this, this sweet romance charm bracelet. And let me see here. Let me put it on a hook. Look at how cute that is that's the that's the, the color tone of it it's like a um, washed out brass oh my god absolutely adorable and then I got the huge silver bangle it's already a win-win I love it I love it okay so just when I was giving up hope um, we're, we got some 
awesome gems. Look at look at the fire on this. This is a glass. <gasps> it's a brooch. I was like, is this an earring? Let me see if there's any missing stones. Oh, wow. I don't think so. Who are you, lovely? Who are you? There are no maker's marks. Oh, the, the, this is not like it's it's being used as a c clasp which is the first um hinges that were made from you know from the for the brooches 100 years plus i think it's missing it's the little lever right there but it still holds underneath the hook right there look at this absolutely Perfect for St. Patty's, right? The greens. And has some blues and amber tones. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm excited. I'm glad that we're finding some piece, some really special pieces. So this is like a hammered ring. Um, I don't think it's silver, but I mean, I could just test it out for giggles. Uh huh. There's a single earring. Here's some more single earrings. I'm just happy I got that sweet romance and that big um, sterling hunk. Let me see here. So this is tangled. This says love. Another love um, necklace. I wonder if this is sterling though. Hmm. No. No, it's not sterling. This is partially uh, busted too. Trying to see what's it looks like brass. We have a little birdie right there. Okay. What's going on with this piece though? Yeah, this is not sterling or silver. So I'm gonna move this over for the craft. Okay, I just readjusted my camera because my back is killing me the way I was positioned. So we have a bunch of single earrings right here. Uh, that's a really cute stud heart. Let me see here. You never know with these small little single um, earrings, sometimes they are gold or silver. So I'm gonna move these to the side. Wow, this is interesting. This is um, a cufflink. That is a very interesting cufflink. There's no maker's mark. The single earring. There's another, this one's in really bad condition though. It's one of those um, artisan twisted bangles. Here's a flag pin, very worn down though. We have a Halloween charm uh, bracelet. If I could get it off of the whatever it's hooked on to. What do you say? You say, oh, you're Claire's. Okay. Little Halloween charmy. So these are green glass. What 
are you? Are you a clover? Oh, wow. I think these are clovers. That is like too perfect, right? For the, the damn filming. Oh, wow. So I think this was made, f what were you made for? A bracelet? It's too big, too big. But I wonder if these are sterling. Very, very cute. I could test it just in case for sterling. And let's see, we're down to the nitty gritty. Here we have hematite and some faux pearls. Tangled up earring. We have that earring. Let's see here. This is just like tangled to the max. Let me see what else I could pull out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some more bangles, a very worn down silver tone earring silver tone. Here's the other matching earring I found earlier. Oops, sorry, I'm out of the camera frame. Let me pull out some of these. This looks like a brooch. Or a pin, is it a pin pendant? Yeah. Oh, that's really cute. It's busted, though. So what I could do is... Hmm... I'm going to cut this off. So that way it could still be utilized as a, a brooch. And I think that's it. Hmm. There's still a little piece of the necklace right there, but it's a it's a pen. That's cute. Let me put that to the side. Here we have some pearls and it's busted the chain. It's LCI. I think this is an Avon brand or um, Liz Claiborne. This Liz Claiborne. There's a craft earring. What is this? Here we have an adjustable vintage ring. And I didn't know up until probably about a year, year and a half ago, that there are old adjustable sterling rings. Would have never thought, but there are. There are no marks in this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the sunflower ring. Is this sterling? Uh, I don't know. It looks very worn down. I think it is, though. There's a, a little mark in there. It's so tiny, though. Let's see what the mark... If I could get it closer... Yeah, see that? Mm, yeah, 925. Which doesn't always mean it's silver, but I will test that out. And that's another awesome find. Here is a butterfly clip. It looks like it might be sterling though, but nah, I don't know. 
I'll just put that to the side. Here's some single earrings. Beautiful water, rhinestone waterfall earring. It's a little flower I found earlier. Look at that crystal with a little with the border prism. Very cute. Reminds me of chandeliers a little bit. Oh, look at the little reindeer. Deer. Aww. Hmm. Non sterling. So I'm already at the end. This is all knotted. Let's see what I could pull out. I'm gonna pause and I will come back too. Okay, so for you guys it was a quick second, but for me, um, I was actually gone for probably a half hour plus trying to untangle this. I can't get all this done in time. Um, this is just like a New York costume uh, necklace mixed with something else. Um, I was trying to see if there is any special, actually this looks like it's a, a sterling hoop, where's my magnet, I'll test that with silver in a second. Um, a lot of this is just significantly worn down and dirty, I just washed my hands right now. Like these are matching earrings, but they're just, they're so run down. So what I got out of it was uh, this earring, this rectangle square earring. Um, this I thought, it has a lot of wear, but I thought it was very interesting because I've never gotten a piece like this before. It's just a crown um, necklace. However, it is from... Let's see here if we could zoom in. Catherine. Po uh, okay, I'm going to totally butcher this. Um, Popesco? Popit okay, yeah. P Catherine P. From France. <laughs> and um, it has a lot of wear on it. Unfortunately, but I thought that was awesome. Here's a copper um, dual... Um, like anklet or a bracelet. Here's this necklace that came out of it. I think this one's from the Avenue. This is an individual um, piece charm with a busted from a busted chain. And then there was a bunch of little loose single worn out earrings. I got this. I'm thinking that this might be silver. I'm going to test it. So let me um, set up the testing stuff because I'm going to test this, 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 that, that, some more chains. Actually, I think pretty sure that that is. Yeah. Um, what else do I have? Uh, I think that's it. And I guess that one. I, let me set up really fast. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one's sterling. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna put this one up here. Mm, I don't think so, let me see. It looks like it's, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I don't know about that one. This one feels s smooth, like like a uh, silver. Yeah, I think that one is. Let's see here. Oh, 
boy. These are always challenging to rub. Ah, I don't like that. <laughs> Okay, I think, uh, I think that's enough. I'm not too sure. Um, let's see, where's the... Okay, here we go. So there's that pile, and just for giggles, I will test out this butterfly right here. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think it's silver. Okay, here it is. Let's cross our fingers. So this is not silver. This bangle is not silver. This is positive. This ring is positive, and so is this chain. Wow, that bangle is not silver. Okay, so we have a positive. This is silver. This is silver. And this is silver. Huh? This is non-sterling. Let me retest the bangle again. Get a different. I don't think it is though, it didn't even. Oh, what a bummer. That would have been a nice chunk of silver, but still, still got some silver in there. That is really bizarre. It even has a sterling mark in there. I'm wondering if, well, let's see what happens. I just did a, the side of the stone. Wow, no, it's not. Wow, okay, well, at least I know now, right? Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for tuning in. I do have to say that I do love... Oh, wait, you know what? I wanted to test the little... Um, You know what? Let me, let me just add that in real quickly. I did want to test the little clovers just in case. Just in case. But um, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Appreciate everybody who tuned in. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think this might just be... A silver tone. Yeah, no, it's not non sterling, but still, either way, very, very cute. The little charms. So, all right, well, there you have it. Thanks for tuning in. Um, stay tuned for notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. This is Soho, California Vintage, signing off. Peace.